Well, g'day everybody. Uh, this is a an X4 tutorial. I'm going to do a few tutorials because I've had a couple of people ask me to do them since I've been playing this and streaming it. Uh, this one is basically on setting up auto mining early game. Um, I'm not really early game. I've got a I've got a uh, a space station and a production facility Cerberus, running. Vanguard. Uh, I also have the uh, I also have a bit of a fleet happening here, but uh, but uh, early game. Um, I would, uh, once you've gone out and done yourself a few missions and maybe mined some crystals and stuff, you have a little bit of cash. Uh, I just want to show you, um, I just want to show you guys uh, what I would do for uh, setting up auto mining. Now, it's worth it's worthwhile setting up auto mining in um, one of these areas here, Argon Prime or the Reach. There are some other um, safe areas that you can do so. Um, but the first thing that I would do is uh, I would make sure that you've been in there and you've actually, uh, up in the filters up in the right-hand side here, there's a legend. And in that legend, you can see mineral regions, gas regions, and mineral gas regions. Uh, these are mining regions, so where you can get gas or you can get uh, minerals and gas or you can get mineral, mineral regions. This area in here is red, which means that we can actually get minerals in here. Now, those minerals are either silicon or or um, so have a, have a, the, the, the first thing that I would do would be to have a scout around the system. And what you want to do is see if you can find any refineries. And as you can see here, there's two all refineries in here. Um, there's whole part factories and these all refineries would be supplying these factories here. So we've got an ore refinery there and we've got an ore refinery there. We don't have any silicon, um, factories and down here in Argon Prime, we do have a an ore refinery there as well. Uh, I think we have a silicon one in here too. There are they have that little uh, bottle icon and stuff like that. So we know that there's no we know that there's no silicon refineries in here. So what we want to do is we want to set up a um, a ship and a pilot to auto mine just in this area and auto mine ore. And what the, what they'll do then is once we've set it up, which I'll show you how to do in a sec. Uh, they will fly around the system, they'll mine, they'll fill up their hull and they'll head to one of these refineries and they will sell that ore off, which basically generates you a um, like a, a, a consistent income. First thing that I've done is the first thing that I did early game was uh, if we go to live stream view is I purchased myself one of these ships. Right now, this is uh, this is my mining ship. Basically, uh, I have a pilot on it, and I think I may have a couple of crew members on it as well. What I will do is I will show you what ship that is. So I'll go back into here, and I purchased this from the uh, from the Argon Wharf here. So if we go into there and uh, we go into oh, I'll just deselect the ship there. We go into here and we go into buy ships. It is a small ship. It is a uh, a courier miner, which is this ship here. Now I purchased this 124,000 credits, can load it out to minimum presets, and minimum presets should be okay. And that's only 225,000 credits. What I did do when you do that, you do need to go in here and make sure that um, that it actually has. It's got a beam emitter on it at the moment. You need to change that over to a mining drill. It definitely needs a mining drill. As you can see, it has no shields or anything, which for me is perfectly fine. So we're looking at 235,000. Add that to the shopping list. And uh, you, you also need a pilot on it as well. So it's mandatory when you buy a ship to have a pilot. You don't really need any service crew, but you can add service crew if you want. You know, maybe one service crew, which which will sort of the, the service crew will keep the ship maintained and repaired as you go. Um, you don't des uh, necessarily need any shield generators on the on the ship if you don't want them. So you can sort of keep that in mind as well, especially if you're working in an area that, I mean, you do sometimes come across. You do sometimes come across, um, uh, you know, some stray xenons and stuff like that. So you know, if you feel like you want to put it in there, it's only you know, with the small shield, it's only 246 thou. Uh, and software-wise, you don't need a docking computer because it's going to be AI-controlled anyway. You don't need any of that stuff. 
Um, trading computer so extension, not really, not really. But you do need the flight assist software and the long range scanner and a basic scanner as well. So there's your ship. <clears throat> now, basically, what you would do with this ship is uh, you can name it whatever you want and you would add that to your shopping list and you would allow them to build it. Now, this ship itself brings in about 15,000 every maybe 15 minutes of gameplay or something. So, you know, it's not as it's not as much as if you bought purchased yourself a large miner, but it's really good to start off with because it starts generating you passive income, um, which continues on the entire way. Once you've got your ship built, you select your ship and uh, send them into whatever area you're working in, whether it be Argon Prime or the Reach, which is where I found stuff. Um, we've got other other systems down here. Um, this is where I am at the moment, where you can see that there's gas, um, there's, there's gas stuff here and uh, and stuff where you can mine. But uh, f for us now, we know we've got all factories in here. We know that uh, we and uh, so what we can do is we can basically click on that, uh, click on our ship. Our, once we've sent our mining ship over here, click on it, right click on it, and go into information, and it'll bring this window here up. Now. If you go into the behavior, which is right there, um, we, you know, we have the ship information, we have the crew and what star level they are. This uh, this pilot has been working since very, very early game for me. So uh, she's starting to level up and stuff like that. You can see your loadouts here, what your active weapons are, all that information. But we want to go to the behavior tab. In the behavior tab, at the moment, you can see we can set the default behavior. At the moment, the default behavior is to hold position. So anytime I give them, if I told her to fly over to here, she would fly over to here and then she would just hold position and wait. So we want to click on hold position. We want to go to local auto mine and see there's some uh, some options here for patrolling and all that type of stuff, um, following ships, local auto trade, all that type of stuff, fill shortages, um, once once she's a two-star pilot, she can do fill shortages, um, which means that she finds multiple trades and fills any shortages that are in, in the system if you were doing a trader, but we're doing a minor. Local auto mine, and then it asks you what where. We want to do ore. We don't want to do ice. We don't want to do uh, nividium. We don't want to do silicon. We know that there's ore factories in this system. Early on in the game with a low-level pilot, they won't go and mine ore here and fly to another system to sell it. So you want to try and keep it local. Uh, anchor space, well, she's already in the reach, so we know that it's in the reach, but you can select that from here. Um, you can select where you want them to uh, local auto mine. Hit on there and confirm that. Now, what you will find is that... Um, that she will now run through and start, um, if we go into our uh, our uh, live stream view, she will actually run through and she'll look for uh, look for ore. She'll mine ore. And once, she's, once her hull is full, she will uh, fly over to one of those stations, whichever is selling for the most price, and she will, uh, she will sell it off. You will get some income on that. And uh, then she will head out and do it again. That is a really simple way to start making money. Once you've got, you know, a couple, two, two or three hundred thousand in your kitty, you've done a couple of missions, uh, maybe done a little bit of mining yourself, whatever, um, and you have that three hundred thousand dollars in your kitty, this is a great way to actually start um start your little empire so she will um she'll do that my other mining ships that i have uh if i go into the map um so that's basically the tutorial guys um so you do have the uh you can you can finish this up here uh, i'm just going to show you what other mining ships that i have here i've got some mining ships working for a station here uh, that's a transporter that is a transporter that's a trade protection fighter who's supposed to be protecting one of my all ships uh, this is Sentinel, a Sentinel. So if we go into there and we go into live stream mode, 
I think this Sentinel's doing uh, doing a little bit of trade and stuff like that. Uh, if I go back up into here and I have a look at uh, who we have, uh, the Bolo mine, uh, Mineral Miner there. Let's go and have a look at that. We'll go into live stream view. And this miner is actually out mining uh, mining stuff here. So um, uh, mining minerals. She's in hold position at the moment because uh, I need to reset her orders and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that is it, guys. Setting up uh, setting up minerals. Once you get these, start getting into the medium ships. Every every full hold that they sell will give you around about around about fifty grand per haul. So you got fifteen on the small ships, about fifty grand on the large ships. Keep that in mind. But uh, it is a simple way to start earning money in the game and start generating. Um, a lot of uh, passive income as you go. So, um, as you can see, I am uh, actually in my, uh, I'm actually in one of my combat ships here, which is my, uh, which is my Vanguard here, and I have, um, I do have fighters, and I do have a couple of destroyers here with me as well. So, um, so there you go. That's an uh, early game. Early game, great way to make money and uh, a great, an easy way to set up uh, auto mining. So remember, check your system out. Find out whether you have a silicon mine or a uh, a water factory that takes ice or uh, or an ore refinery that will refine ore. And uh, select those ones and uh, and bang, you get a couple of those ships out and running and, uh, and you'll be bringing passive income in at no time. So... That's it, guys. I hope that that was easy and simple to follow. I will see you guys next time. Bye.